my dear students let us understand lesson 2 number system okay so in this uh, we will cover the ways to represent the numbers okay so we are talking about in computer okay so let us understand the value of a digit in a number is determined on the basis of following three factors first the value of the digit itself the position of the digit in the number and the base of the number system this is the very very important thing as per the base we will convert a number into a different number okay this is for our simplicity for our simple understanding we are all doing this okay all digital computers store numbers letters and other characters in coded form the code used to represent characters is the binary code and you know binary code that is 0 and 1 so let us understand a number system is a system of reprocessing numbers in various ways okay and what are the various ways there are various kinds of number systems like decimal hexadecimal octal binary number system remember in decimal there is a base 10 we use digits 0 to 9 in hexadecimal there is a base 16 we use 0 to 9 digits and a to f symbols this total will make 16 in octal we use eight digits that is 0 to 7 and in binary you know very well we use two digits 0 and 1 okay so these are the ways in which we can process the numbers base so a number system of base n has exactly n digits or symbols as i told and decimal is base 10 so it contains 0 to 9 digits in base 2 two, two digits that is 0 and 1 if base 8 so 8 digits that is 0 to 7 hexadecimal 16 base so 16 if we may consider like symbols 0 to 9 digits and a to f symbols okay so this is decimal number system which we use in mathematics okay also so if we consider uh, like this 365 so 5 represent the unit place digit 6 represent tenth place and uh, 3 represents hundred place digit and this will make the number okay binary number system so this is the conversion process in which binary number will be converted into the decimal number what they are doing they are multiplying every digit of the binary number by the increasing power of 2 from right side what they are doing they are multiplying every digit of binary number by the increasing power of 2 you can see here and after that they are adding all the digits and whatever result will come that will be the decimal number okay so this is binary conversion so this type of conversion we will see okay in this chapter remember in binary number system the base is 2 we use only two digits 0 and 1 right if i uh, talk about 0110101 so this is the binary number any number which consists of two digits so refers to a binary number octal number octal number system base is 8 i told consist eight digits 0 to 7 okay these are the digits remember if you would like to convert a octal number to decimal so remember each digit of octal number you have to multiply by the increasing power of 8 and after that you have to add the result whatever number you will get that will be in the decimal right i hope this will be clear to you let us see hexadecimal so i told in hexadecimal there are uh, 16 total symbols in which 0 to 9 digits and a to f symbols in which are these symbols a to f this represents these numbers a represent 
B represents 11, C represents 12, D represents 13, E 14 and F 15. So if we would like to convert this number into decimal, so what to do? First we have to convert if any symbol in the number. 2 will remain as it is, F is that is 15, okay, the value of F and 3 will be as it is. And what we are doing? Same. We are multiplying each symbol of the hexadecimal number by the increasing power of 60 means whatever is the base and finally we are adding the result and whatever result we will get that will be in the decimal right so i hope this will be clear to you questions are given in exercise so we will do that now conversion of decimal number to a binary number how to do that so let us see so whatever this information is given we will uh, understand here what we are doing suppose 79 we have to convert into base 2 that is binary number so we have to divide this 79 each time by 2 and we have to note it down the remainder okay what i mean to say i mean to say number we have to divide by 2 each time and we have to note it down the remainder and whatever remainders will come then we have to write from the bottom to top this will be the result okay one zero zero one 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 okay you can see one zero zero one 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 so this is the result you can see you can read here how we are dividing let us see suppose 79 is divided by 2 so we will get 39 remainder is 1 again 2 39 will be divided by 2 19 times remainder is 1 again 19 by 2 that is 9 times remainder is 1 then 9 divided by 2 4 times remainder is 1 ok so this this is the remainder then 2 4 will be divided by 2 remainder will be 0 again 2 will be divided by 2 remainder is 0 so whatever we get here we get here this one so remember we can't divide this one by the two so remainder what will come same one will come right so i hope this will be clear to you let us see one more example so this is 42 how to do that they are uh, we have to do same process keep dividing by 2 and we have to write the remainders the result we have to write from bottom to top so this is the process okay same 42 will be divided by 2 21 times remainder is 0 21 will be divided by 10 times divided by 2 10 times remainder is 1 same 10 5 times remainder is 0 same 5 2 times remainder is 1 then 2 1 time 0 and then 1 of course you will, you will not be able to divide so remainder will remain 1 so I hope this will be clear to you. Okay, rest we will discuss in the next part. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Okay.